The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's arguably one of the best smartphones right now. Coming in at $1,199 and rated 4 out of 10 on the repairability score by iFixit. This phone has had quite the spotlight on it. In this video, we'll be unboxing the device, opening the device, and verifying that it actually is a hard device to repair. Samsung phones are usually all built pretty much the same, but apparently there are a few surprises built into this one. It's been quite a long time since Samsung has made any changes at all to the phone's interior. The one thing I love about Samsung's though is their display quality. They absolutely obliterate Apple when it comes to their displays. Definitely some interesting packaging here. They put some sort of cover. I guess we're not seeing plastic anymore, which I'm happy about. We can see this little box with the camera cut out. And inside this box, we have a USB-C to USB-C cable, RIP to cube. We also have the SIM ejector pin and some instructions, of course. And here it is. This is our Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's quite a good looking phone. So Samsung purposely added these illustrations onto this cover here because the SIM card tray is right beside another hole, which is probably a microphone or something along those lines. Of course, people probably will make that mistake as soon as you peel this off. I am actually noticing a bit of a botched lamination job here at this bottom right corner. It's almost unnoticeable, but if there is a bit of an air bubble that can spread and cause even more air bubbles. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn the phone on. So the phone turned on it took a while to set up and it was kind of laggy but probably nothing to worry about while the s23 ultra is loading word from sponsor opera Stop! Don't visit that website, at least not without protection. Websites you visit are tracking your every move on the web. They collect data and sell that data to data brokers. But if you use Opera web browser, that stops the problem right at the root. Opera has an option to block trackers completely. Not only that, but they also have a VPN that's completely free, meaning your location and search history are protected from anyone with ill intentions. It's also extremely customizable and has a very clean UI. They also have something called MyFlow, which allows you to seamlessly send and receive pictures, texts, or documents from any smartphone. Oh, and it's end-to-end -end encrypted. The normal VPN is free, but it's not pro. Opera's VPN Pro would be a lot more help to those who need higher internet speeds. With 30 plus virtual locations, one pro subscription allows access via six different devices. What is free though is the first three months when you sign up with a yearly plan using the code Google. That's on top of the existing 50% off yearly plans. That's a whole lot cheaper than the competition. Click the link in the description and start using Opera today. Before we open this phone up, I'm going to show you guys a few pictures I took outside. The camera actually surprised me. It's really good. We're also going to do a very, very quick speaker test with the ears. So I decided to take some pictures of the moon and wow, this camera can really zoom in. So much so that I actually captured this. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. But here are some of the photos we actually took. On the left is the iPhone 14 Pro and on the right is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and holy crap, I'm amazed at how good the S23 camera actually is. It definitely looks more processed than the iPhone, but it's just much clearer. Although the Samsung takes better pictures, the iPhone records much better video. It's night and day. Now we can check out those speakers with the ears. <laughs> So I don't know how well you could tell from that test, but basically the iPhone sounds slightly clearer and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is really loud. It sounds like a portable speaker. Now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to open up this Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and see what's new on the inside. Wait, what? Uh... Samsung? It shouldn't be that easy to open it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we actually opened this up earlier and uh, the camera cut out. So uh, yeah, um, here we are. So the first thing we notice when we open up this device are these gigantic cameras. Look at the size of this thing. It's massive. Up here, we have the 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And over here, we have a 200 megapixel wide camera. The thing about having a 200 megapixel camera is it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good camera. 
up. But in this case, I have to admit, it is a good camera. It's really good. This camera also has OIS. As you can see, it does the wobble. And we have a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. At the bottom here, we have our 10 megapixel periscope camera. This is the camera that can get those moon shots. This little black thing up here is a laser auto focus sensor. It basically emits a laser beam to the object you're trying to capture and allows the camera to get the right degree of focus. Over here, we have the front earpiece speaker. These seem to be getting bigger and bigger every year. Let's see if the speaker has the balls. And it does. These are white sound dampening balls. They make your speaker sound louder than they actually are. It's time to hit this phone with an unscrew. 17 unscrews. So all the screws on this phone are the same size and they all use Phillips. Makes for easy repairs and you can probably fix this phone with literal Dollarama tools. This smiley face is sponsored by PRG Repair Mat. The best mat in the game, the only mat in the game. Link in description. Now we can disconnect every connection we see, which is only two at the moment. And we'll remove the wireless charger. So right off the bat, this looks pretty standard for Samsungs. Uh, they all look fairly similar. We do have a blue sticker here that says pull out. Um, that is for the removable battery. Yay! Samsung has finally utilized removable batteries via pull tabs. We'll remove the bottom loudspeaker. There we go. So the bottom loudspeaker this year has the vibration motor and the bottom loudspeaker together. We'll remove all the flex cables and place them out. We'll also remove the front earpiece speaker. So on this speaker, we have a rubber gasket over here. This is to prevent water from entering inside your device. So uh, our camera, our main camera did cut, but we still had our secondary camera. And you can see that removing this battery took a little bit of strength, but we definitely got it off with ease. No alcohol used, no tools used. Very good job, Samsung. The Samsung Galaxy Ultra battery has at 5,000 milliamp hours. That's compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max's 4,323 milliamp hours. It's time to unscrew that one black screw. We'll hit this with a unscrew. Once again, repair friendly by making the one screw that isn't covered by these brackets black. We'll disconnect the front camera. Now we can remove the main motherboard. There we go. So this motherboard, like most other smartphones right now, is a sandwich board. That means there are two layers pressed together via these little solder joints. This allows manufacturers to fit more components into a smaller space. Now we're gonna hit the subboard with an unscrew. Before removing the subboard, you always wanna remove the SIM card tray. Now we can remove the subboard and there we go. This is the subboard. It has the USB-C port and the SIM card reader. Overall, I rate this phone a seven out of 10 on the repairability score. These Phillips screws are really easy to remove and this phone also has a removable battery, which is amazing. The board and the front camera are going to be very hard to repair though. And for that reason, I'm out.